back it up. Okay. Hi, my name is Abriana, also known as Black on Writing, and today we're going to do like a day in the life type of film. I didn't think I was going to do it, but today's a really, of my work days, Fridays are really my cool days. Um, So right now it's almost, dog, don't start that. You know I'm filming a video and you know I got a session at like at nine, so don't do that. So anyway, I'm going to do like a cool day in the life just because I find it fascinating. Now look. Let me go get my dog. Hold on. You go sit down, okay? Um, so I wanted to do this video because I like watching, you know, a day in the work life. I usually watch like other case managers or therapists, but I'm like, you know, I'm a case manager, you know, therapeutic service, but also I'm an inspiring writer. So today is just going to be a day of me doing all that. Plus, this is my last week of school before my week turn. Hey, don't start that. Can, can, can I just be great? Give this to me for two seconds. Let me hold it for two seconds. Sit. You're so cool. Give me two seconds. Um, so anyway, what is going to happen is going to be the following. I am going to do a supervision with my one of my TBSs for a little bit. It's about almost 9. It's 8.50, 8.59. Then I'm going to run up to one of my facilities, do some, do some referrals. And then from there, I'm going to go to Starbucks and do the rest of my documentation that I didn't do over the last two days. Well, I, I just have to formally put it in and all that stuff. Um, and then after that, I have a work event, team building thing. Don't, 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 don't grab me. Don't grab me. I don't like being grabbed. I don't grab you. I'm almost done telling them what's going to happen. And then after... You should see her. She's ridiculous. Look at that. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> um, and then... Can you, just, can you just be quiet? Like, I'm just trying to be great and you're not letting me. Anyway, and then after that... I have the team building work thing for the holidays and then that's done work wise my nine to five from there I will be starting my final presentation PowerPoint for my master's class okay now I'm almost done and then after that I want to go to the movies and see Halloween and then do some late night writing that's what today's gonna fucking be okay all right let's get into it okay So I'm in my car, as you can see. I feel so cool in my sunglasses. So I just finished up my supervision. Um, it's 10 o'clock now, so it took the full hour. Um, I expected that. So now what I'm about to do, I'm about to run up to one of my facilities and get some paperwork done that I needed to get done. But it's been very, very crazy. And one thing I have learned being a supervisor now and having a team under me is I really got to learn how to manage paperwork and my time. That has been my biggest struggle um, for me and my position. Oh, mailman, don't hit me. Actually, mailman hit me. I got good insurance. Do it, do it. Ugh. So anyway, <laughs> with my uh, T 
terrible road rage driving habits. Just like, oh, just hit me. I got good insurance. Do it, please. Um, I want a new car. That really did distract me. Anyway, so yeah. Um, so, so that's been really what was, or something I'm actively trying to work on as a leader. Um, yeah. So anyway, we're about to drive for about 30 minutes because that's how far it is from my house. Um, I'm about to see if we're going to get rejected or not, if people want to participate in services. If not, you know, it's a free country. If they don't want to do it, they don't have to do it. But I still got to go down and see if they're interested. And then from there, I will meet back up with you guys because I will be doing my paperwork documentation. Um, which is one thing I also noticed having this job. I do kind of halfway stare at the screen a lot. It's just like a lot of like, not equal, well, halfway, le some legal stuff, scanning stuff. I'm looking at the computer and then trying to go home and write has really been like low key kind of difficult. Um, but what I want to do tonight, cause I don't think I told you guys my plan is to finish my prologue. I started my prologue um, and what I did was just do a lot of research for what I want to talk about. Um, so yeah, and my I'm getting texts now, so hopefully you guys don't hear that on the camera. But if you do, then oh well. Um, so that story of my life. Uh, so yeah, let's continue our work day until three, which we, it's still work three to four, but supposed to be a, a team building for all of the supervisors and clinical managers so I'm a part of that so we're gonna do that today so all right I'll see y'all later Was, that was definitely a waste of time and gas <laughs> definitely so the three referrals i was supposed to do two re, two residents had relocated you know unto my knowledge because i don't know the resident i'm referring them so or i'm seeing if they want you know to take part in services so two of them relocated and the one that i did get to meet with refused so i drove 30 minutes for no reason um I'm gonna. I'm thinking about stopping by my other facility just to see how my team is doing over there. But I saw them yesterday, so what I what I'm going to do now. What I'm going to do now, English. Um, I'm gonna start my documentation and getting everything all in order because, as I said before at the beginning of this video, I am shit when it kind of comes to staying organized. I can get organized, but it's staying organized and being consistent. Like I know where all my paperwork is. It's all in my email. Because I email myself, or I keep emails that were obviously I keep emails that were sent to me, and I don't put the documents where they need to. Be. I don't put them where they need to be. That's my fault. That's my fault. But anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm probably gonna head to a Starbucks so I can eat breakfast, and I'm gonna be doing this documentation until I am done. Uh, I did get to get some observational notes in for two of my residents and I saw them, you know, active, actively up and out of their room engaging independently without my help. So I was like, they do do it when I'm not here. Because normally Fridays, I try not to come up here. I try not to come up to my facilities because um, that's my admin day where I try to do my work from home. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, let's continue to press on with this 9 to 5 work day. We got this. It is, I didn't even tell you what time it was. It's um, 11 now. So, yeah, it's 11. So, okay. Okay, so this morning is turning out to be a goddamn bus. It's pissing me off. Um, so, the Starbucks, as you can see, that I went to, um, <laughs> it, it's completely flipping packed. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. I'm like, ah! And it was just like a whole bunch of kids. And I was like, ew, gross. I don't want to be around them. So so I'm like, Ugh, that Starbucks is packed. I was going to do my work. So then I was like, fuck it. Let me just go drive 
30, well, it's 30 minutes from my house. It's 40 from where I am to the office. And I realized I have to go to the office because I have to upload. I mean, I have to scan some stuff and I don't have a fucking scanner at my house. And I was like, fuck, I got like 10 things to scan. I was like, damn it. So it's been a bus. Like I've been driving all the way back and forth. It's like 1130. And I feel like I've completed nothing besides the hour supervision that I had this morning. And um, I'm getting the refusal for getting the refusal for treatment um and then <laughs> now it's just more stuff because my boss called so i'm like fuck it i'm just gonna go to the fucking office and just deal with it that way that's usually what happens to me like my day starts off so good and then random shit just fucking happens like where i want to go and sit and do my notes when it's supposed to be quiet it's bustling with fucking kids i'm like ain't y'all supposed to be in school it's not turkey break yet like ain't y'all supposed to be in school i was like what the hell so, yeah, so yeah, I'm just driving, just driving my ass off. All right. I will see y'all, hopefully, and I would have gotten at least some of my documentation done. At least my billing. At least, hopefully, my billing is done. All right. Okay, so I am leaving the office. Um, I kind of got what I wanted done, I'll say, like, 20%. <laughs> I was able to upload everything that I needed into uh, our documentation files, but I just have to actually write my session notes and my case notes down. Um, and that's really the hard part. Like, oh my God, writing down session notes, kill me. I cannot stand writing them, but that's really all I have to do. So I kept my paperwork. I didn't shred it yet so I can remember like what dates, even though I already uploaded the files with the date on there. But in our case notes, they like for us to put, you know, what we actually did. And so I want to remember that, oh, yesterday I did do safety plans and whatnot and reviewed everything. So yeah, um, it is 1.38. I'm actually about to run home. Um, and grab something to eat although our little supervisor function thing at three is supposed to have food there but i always am like you know i'm kind of not a picky eater but like i have like food allergies slash food sensitivities it probably really is food allergies and i probably should go to the doctor about that but i just say food sensitivities so sometimes i know when my stomach is having a really bad day and i think because i had my coffee this morning and for some reason it just didn't sit well and i'm just like I don't think my stomach is liking today but usually for me I'll drink the same thing over and over until I can like make myself sick which is really bad because uh, it tastes good and I like it so I'm gonna go home and snack on some food so I'm not as hungry damn you took off to go where took off to go where we're going right back to another red light that's crazy um yeah and then I might change it to our work clothes oh fuck it that's right I don't give a fuck <laughs> I don't care I'm if this is appropriate, it's appropriate. Um, so yeah, so we're almost done with our nine to five day. Put out some fires and all that stuff. <sighs> and then, then I will start on my presentation. But I'm already like low key late um, because this function that we're going to for our supervisor meeting. It's like 30 minutes away from my house. So then I got to drive back out there. I'm like, damn, they're on E. What the hell? Oh, my God. <laughs> Terrible. Um, I just wish I was done with all of my documentation. I just did a lot of fucking driving for no reason. Like, if I would have known that that guy would have refused and that the other two residents had damn near just relocated, I wouldn't have, dri I would have driven out there because then I had to drive there and then drive back like I've already driven for like a goddamn hour <laughs> then I gotta go drive back out like oh my god but yeah anyway heading home um I mean in comparison it's still very a nice very chill day it's just I have to you know take the time to sit down at the computer like I wanted to do it today but it really didn't work out but you know sit down at the computer and do my documentation and all that stuff so all right, let's continue on with this 9 to 5 day. Woo, 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 woo. Hello, I am back, and it is Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, let me uh, recap. 
of what happened for the work event because you know i was doing a day in the life and it was an epic fucking failure i'm just gonna say that it was an epic fucking failure no work got done after that work event we got there we had our meeting we debriefed the upcoming things that will be happening work-wise and i was like there is no way i'm going home sober tonight after this so i text my husband i let him know my address i was like pick me up at this time because i'm gonna be inebriated because work went crazy and so then after that i think i left at 9 9:30. we were there at three stayed um with co-workers and all that, all that stuff husband came picked me up went and got more food and then we went home and watched tv and passed out <laughs> so that was that was friday okay so no presentation work or anything got done so we go into saturday saturday i wake up at a beautiful like let's say 10 a.m um and i remembered that i won didn't finish some of my session notes so i had to do that before the deadline at 11 59 and then two i didn't even start my damn um presentation project so i was kind of like scrambling it took me about two hours let's see my mother-in-law came over the house from at like three-ish. I, I took my time neandering, neandering. I took my sweet ass time putting in my session notes. So it took about two hours. So from like two to two to four thirty, two to four, something like that. And then I got done with my session notes, took a break. Then I got into my presentation. Um, I did, oh, what did I do? I like to like do a baseline so for our rubric it's like your presentation slides have to be between seven to ten pages or slides and so for me i always like to be in the middle so i started off with eight um i did four did four slides and then today sunday don't know if i told you guys but yeah today's sunday um i finished my presentation this morning around 11 um and i have 15 slides in total so i submitted that bitch in this is my last credit assignment for my masters for my intro to psych um and so i get a week off i get a week off before i jump into statistics and research method which she says help me because math and abriana don't go good together but yeah so i ended up getting that done this morning and now it is football game just went off fuck so it's about 4 4 30 ish about 4 30 ish stay with me um have not done any writing however that's what we're gonna do right now house of the dragon comes on at nine o'clock so i want to give myself a hour hour and 30 minutes to just finish my prologue with one of my main characters well finish my prologue with a very important side character so he has that moment so i'm finishing his prologue today gonna give myself an hour um and then i'm gonna take a bubble bath and then i'm gonna get ready for house of the dragon i'm gonna be emotionally be in like some emotional turmoil and i might take off work tomorrow <laughs> be like i can't i can't come in i'm distraught um so yeah so that's that's what we're gonna do and then also i need to do this pretty fast because my phone's about to die um news news as you can see there is no tiana or tortoise anymore we gave the turtles away and no, i'm just kidding we did it um we moved the turtles downstairs my husband is into like fish and stuff so downstairs it's not like the fish room so we got the turtles and all the fish tanks down there and if you guys are interested i'll like show you guys what it looks like one day if i ever if i ever write again in the basement i think i did that one time and oh my brain came out oh I also did my hair today because I, I didn't wash my hair for like two weeks. I was like, oh god, I'm lazy, but I did that. I did a lot today. Um, so now I got these bean bags. Actually, I've been had these bean bags, and they really weren't mine. They're were my mom's, but I stole them from her. She don't know. She don't know. Um, and we're gonna just chill and write and do our our writing because eventually I want to get like a little long mini couch thing where I can just chill and put my feet up like this and do my work and type because that's really comfortable because I've noticed I don't want to write in my writing room as much because I'm not comfortable. I don't like sitting at the desk. I, I, I just don't like sitting at the desk. I feel more comfortable when I'm in the bed, but the bedtime is my bedtime. Like I don't want to be writing or doing any type of work. So that's in the works. I'm going to update this whole writing room 
Um, but yeah, so let's get into this writing. Let's get into this prologue. I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. So, alrighty. Hi, so I am back. I have clearly changed again, took my bubble bath and all that stuff. And I am finishing up the prologue right here. Um, I'm not necessarily done with it. It took me a couple of tries to get the wording right since I haven't written in a minute. So it, I've been like finagling the words. If you can hear the dishwasher in the background, sorry. Um, but I'm loading. Um, so I'm not done with the prologue yet, but I found how I want it to sound. It's going to be kind of sad and somber. It's when it's one character um, reminiscing about a death in his family that changed his life's course or gave him purpose. So I'm just trying to explain that. Um, I have a page and a half-ish, and I think I'm going to stop there because the prologue's not done, but my brain is tapped. Um, so I'm just going to end it here on this note. So I hope you guys enjoy this video of this fail attempt of the day in my life. If you guys want to see another video like this, just let me know. Um, so anyway, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Share if you care. Um, Nano is fastly approaching next week, so we just gotta get our butts in gear. And I'll be back with another one real soon.